Hi, Dirt Farmer Jay here from DirtFarmerJay.com. Recently, we did an episode telling you about some of the features and charging times on some of the most common charging bases that DeWalt supplies with its tool packs. Well, we made an error and we're gonna correct it. Stay tuned and I'll tell you all about it. Hi, Dirt Farmer Jay here from DirtFarmerJay.com. Recently, we did our episode related to charging bases and how long it would take to charge the different battery packs. Now, as you can see, we use the DeWalt system, but every major tool manufacturer that uses these types of charging units uh, all have different trickle rates, how long it takes to charge and so forth. Well, based on what I could find at the time and any tech documents went up to tool forums, some of the repair uh, station uh, type of forums. And what I could tell at the time was that the DCB-107 charged faster than the DCB-115. Well, as it turns out, that's not correct. And some of you called me out on that and said, I don't know how that's possible uh, because it looks like one puts out more amperage to the charge uh, than the other. And so further research, some people are attributing it to trickle rate and all that sort of thing. Bottom line, I end up talking to my friends at DeWalt through one of their support lines, uh, a service agent there named Leslie. And Leslie took the time to explain the difference between the two. And we got very specific about these two charging bases. And as it turns out, uh, these bases put out different amperage ratings. So on a DCB-115, which comes with many, it's one of their most common bases, um, what it produces, if you look right here on the back, you can see the DCB-115 has an output of four amps, while the DCB-107 only has an output rate of 1.25 amps for these higher capacity batteries, like these five amp hour batteries, six amp hour, um, a DCB-115 will charge a depleted six amp hour and certainly a five amp hour in 90 minutes or less. So if it's only partially depleted, it's gonna ramp this battery up pretty darn quick, okay? Whereas the DCB-107, the same, a six amp hour battery will take a double that time, around 180 minutes or less. So these are good for just standby chargers. Now, some of you asked, does it harm to have the battery just sitting in the charger? And I asked Leslie about this and said, I need the official word and can I quote you on this? So she gave me the answer and she said, yes, you can quote us. This is the tool manufacturer specification. These are designed to be able to leave the batteries on them in a standby trickle mode. They keep the battery maintained. They don't overcharge the battery. It just keeps them ready to go. For those of you that are curious about, am I harming my battery or I need to keep them in a separate place? No, use the charger base to store the battery. Now, you may notice in the background here, we've created a tool station here where we just keep all of our, uh, all of our drills ready to go, both the quick chuck type as well as uh, the standard chuck type, plus our, our little uh, side uh, cutter saw here, the circular saw, some accessory drawers, and then we chose to put the charger bases on the side here. Watch for a future video where we'll give you the plans for this and the build as we walk through it, and we just uh, will show you how to do these. These are really, really handy. If you found this video to be helpful, won't you like it, and better yet, Subscribe to our channel, and when you do, ring the bell. That way you'll be notified approximately every Friday of another great new episode in the shop, in the kitchen, around the yard, working on your vehicles, all the great things that you as a homeowner just need to do it yourself. Until the next time, this is Dirt Farmer Jay with a fully charged battery.